My name is Malou Truth, and I'm the author of a very wonderful and relative literary project called The Design Dating Purpose. This book right here actually saved my life. It opened up a lot of doors and windows of understanding of myself, of the way I behaved in the arena of dating, how I treated women. And um, I've seen that a lot of the uh, issues that was going on in my life, um, negative traumatic issues, actually had a real, real um, cause how I actually behaved in the dating arena. And it was actually about 2016 when this book actually came to uh, fruition in my mind um, because I actually had gone through a really bad breakup. And that bad breakup uh, affected me uh, tragically. Um, it took me to the point of uh, a really hard depression and even to the point um, where I wanted to end it all. But then I actually heard a voice uh, that told me, write. And I began writing, and everything that was in me started coming out. And this was somewhere around about 2016, and I began to start writing um, in a notepad. Uh, this notepad got full. I got another notepad, and that got full. And at that point, I began to start putting it on my computer. Um, writing and purging myself of all of that negativity um, turned it actually into a positive because I began to start really examining who I was um, as a man and who I was as a man um, in the dating arena, um, the trauma that I caused other people. And when I wrote that in that book, um, in, in the notebook, it then transcended into something amazing. Um, and that's something amazing um, is the design dating purpose. Uh, the reason why I called it a design is because number one, we're all designed to love and care for one another. But seemingly in the arena of dating, it seems to be a selfish modality, uh, something that we all look to receive something out for ourselves and not really looking towards the other individual and what they um, should get out of that relationship. Okay, so this book, The Design Dating Purpose, it took me through a fantastic journey um, of self-realization in that I realized who I was and what I needed to be doing and how I needed to behave in the world of dating. And it also took me to um, a really great point of actualization where I began to start actualizing um, and who I need to become and how that individual began to manifest. This book was a tremendous healing process for me and I'm hoping and I know as a matter of fact that it will be a great healing process for you. This book is more than just a book. It's a journey. It's going to be a journey in self-discovery. It's going to be a journey in change. Uh, this book can be found um, at Amazon, Amazon.com, and you can also Google me, Malik Truth, M-A-L-I-K-T-R-U-T-H, Malik Truth on Google. The book will come up automatically, or if you go to Amazon, you can type in the search bar Malik Truth or the name of the book, The Design, Dating Purpose, and it will come up. And I guarantee you that this book will definitely cause you to go through some searching, some soul searching, and finding some things that are very important about you that you didn't even know about. Actually, this book um, with Amazon, Amazon is fantastic because Amazon actually gives you the opportunity um, to sign up for international purpose purchases. Uh, so um, anyone from uh, from, Can from Canada, Japan, India, actually someone in India has already purchased this book as well as Canada. So uh, this book is actually being read in India and in Canada. So um, the UK, um, anything that's connected, any, any country that's actually uh, connected with Amazon can actually go online to your Amazon uh, URL and order this book. The the only uh, challenge is that Amazon will not translate the book into different languages. That's, that's one thing that Amazon uh, doesn't do. Um, so if you are ordering uh, the book and you are in a, uh, another country and you speak English, I encourage you to get it. Uh, if you don't get it anyway, have somebody translate it for you. And the book is only uh, $21.79 uh, on Amazon. Um, there is a uh, free sample read on Kindle, so if you have Kindle, and one of the best things to have is Kindle Unlimited because you can always get the book um, at no cost. Um, so again, uh, the book, 
the design dating purpose, again, found at Amazon.com or your Kindle app. Thank you so much. My encouragement to anyone looking to get into the writing business or you think you have a flair for writing, it's two words. Just write. Just write. Everything that's inside you will be organized later. Don't write a book trying to organize the book. You're going to fail that way. Everyone who's ever graduated from college or took any writing classes knows that the first thing you want to do is purge yourself. And you want to get all of that in, in freestyle and freehand writing and just get it all out on one piece of paper. After you have this feeling within yourself that you have given everything that you have to give on that scrap piece of paper, then you begin to organize it into different structured sentences, into different structured paragraphs, and eventually those paragraphs will become chapters. Well, I, I, I can say if, if, if you are inspired to write, you can always contact me um, at Facebook. Um, I can be found um, at Ilias, I-L-L-Y-A-S, Malik, M-A-L-I-K, Jenkins, J-E-N-K-I-N-S. Go ahead and uh, put in a friend's request, and I'll be more than happy to um, impart to you what you need to know to grow as a writer. Event Connect is a show on Digital Will TV to share and boost invention experience around the world. Welcome back to this channel. In case you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed kindly, click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell to get updates once we drop a new video. On today's topic, we will be discussing on the 10 black powerful inventors you may not have heard about that change the way the world lives positively. Please listen and be inspired. Garrett Augustus Morgan Sr., March 4, 1877 to July 27, 1963, was an African-American inventor, businessman, and community leader. His most notable inventions were a three-position traffic signal and a smoke hood, a predecessor to the gas mask too, notably used in a 1916 tunnel construction disaster discovered and developed a chemical hair processing and straightening solution. He created a successful company based on his hair product inventions along with a complete line of hair care products and became involved in the civic and political advancement of African Americans, especially in and around Cleveland, Ohio. Elijah J. McCoy was a Canadian-born inventor and engineer of African American descent who was notable for his 57 U.S. patents, most having to do with the lubrication of steam engines. Born May 2, 1844, Colchester, Essex, Canada died October 10, 1929, Eloise known for invention spouse Mary Eleanor Delaney, M. 1873-1922, Anne Elizabeth Stewart, M. 1868-1872, parents Mildred McCoy, George McCoy nationality, American, Canadian. Lewis Howard Latimer, September 4, 1848 to December 11, 1928, was an American inventor and patent draftsman for the patents of the light bulb and telephone. Lewis Howard Latimer Latimer in 1882, born September 4, 1848, Chelsea, Massachusetts, U.S. Died December 11, 1928, aged 80, Flushing, Queens, New York City, U.S. occupation inventor, author, Engineer, patent consultant, draftsman, Navy landsman, ranked spouses Mary Wilson Lewis M. 183, children Jeanette Latimer, Mary Gerald F. Norman, Louise Latimer, parent S. George W. Latimer, 1818 to 1897, Rebecca Smith, 1823 to 1910, was the most prominent black scientist of the early 20th century.
George Washington Carver, 1860s 1, 2, January 5, 1943, was an American agricultural scientist and inventor who promoted alternative crops to cotton and methods to prevent soil depletion. 3. He was the most prominent black scientist of the early 20th century. Born 1860s Diamond, Missouri, U.S. died January 5, 1943, about 79 years old, Tuskegee, Alabama, U.S. Resting Place Tuskegee University Alma Mater Iowa State University Awards Spingarn Medal, 1923, signature while at professor at Tuskegee Institute. Carver developed techniques to improve soils depleted by repeated plantings of cotton. He wanted poor farmers to grow other crops, such as peanuts and sweet potatoes, as a source of their own food and to improve their quality of life. The most popular of his 44 practical bulletins for farmers contained 105 food recipes using peanuts. Although he spent years developing and promoting numerous products made from peanuts, none became commercially successful, for, apart from his work to improve the lives of farmers. Carver was also a leader in promoting environmentalism. 5. He received numerous honors for his work, including the Spingarn Medal of the NAACP. In an era of high racial polarization, his fame reached beyond the black community. He was widely recognized and praised in the white community for his many achievements and talents. In 1941, Time magazine dubbed Carver Black Leonardo. Madam C.J. Walker, born Sarah Breedlove, December 23, 1867 to May 25, 1919, was an American entrepreneur, philanthropist, and political and social activist. She is recorded as the first female self-made millionaire in America in the Guinness Book of World Records. One, multiple sources mention that although other women might have been the first, their wealth is not as well documented. Lonnie George Johnson, born October 6, 1949, is an American inventor, aerospace engineer, an entrepreneur whose work history includes a U.S. Air Force term of service and a 12-year stint at NASA, including the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He invented the Super Soaker water gun in 1990 which has been among the world's best-selling toys ever since to Lonnie George Johnson Johnson in 2016, born October 6, 1949, age 71, Mobile, Alabama, U.S. Education Williamson High School alma mater Tuskegee University occupation engineer. In Benner years active 1978 to 2012 known for Super Soaker. Patricia Arabath, November 4, 1942 to May 30, 2019, was an American ophthalmologist, inventor, humanitarian, and academic. She was an early pioneer of laser cataract surgery. She also became first woman member of the Jules Stein Eye Institute, first woman to lead a postgraduate training program in ophthalmology and first woman elected to the honorary staff of the UCLA Medical Center. Bath was the first African-American person to serve as a resident in ophthalmology at New York University. She was also the first African-American woman to serve on staff as a surgeon at the UCLA Medical Center. Bath was the first African-American woman doctor to receive a patent for a medical purpose. The holder of five patents won. She also founded the nonprofit American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness in Washington, D.C. Patricia Arabat, born Patricia Arabat, November 4, 1942, New York City, New York, U.S. Died May 30, 2019, aged 76, San Francisco, California, U.S. Citizenship American Alma Mater Hunter College, B.A. Howard University, MD, occupation ophthalmologist, inventor, humanitarian known for invention of laser phago probe. Granville Taylor Woods, April 23, 1856, January 30, 
1910, was an inventor who held more than 60 patents in the U.S. One, he was the first African-American mechanical and electrical engineer after the Civil War. Two, self-taught. He concentrated most of his work on trains and streetcars. One of his notable inventions was a device he called the synchronous multiplex railway telegraph. A variation of induction telegraph which relied on ambient static electricity from existing telegraph lines to send messages between train stations and moving trains. 3. His work assured a safer and better public transportation system for the cities of the United States. Granville Taylor Woods illustration of Woods born April 23, 1856 Columbus, Ohio, U.S. died January 30. 1910, aged 53, New York City, U.S. resting place St. Michael's, Episcopalian Cemetery, East Elmhurst. New York nationality American occupation inventor. Thomas L. Jennings, 1791, February 12, 1856, was an African-American tradesman and abolitionist in New York City, New York. He operated and owned a tailoring business. In 1821 he was one of the first African Americans to be granted a patent for his method of dry cleaning. With the proceeds of his invention he bought his wife and children's freedom. Then continued his civil rights work. Jennings became active in working for civil rights for the African American community. In 1831, he was selected as assistant secretary to the first annual convention of the people of color in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which met in June of that year. He helped arrange legal defense for his daughter, Elizabeth Jennings, in 1854 when she challenged a private streetcar company's segregation of seating and was arrested. She was defended by the young Chester Arthur and won her case the next year. With two other prominent African American leaders, Jennings organized the Legal Rights Association in 1855 in New York, which raised challenges to discrimination and organized legal defense for court cases. He founded and was a trustee of the Abyssinian Baptist Church, a leader in the African American community. Otis Frank Boykin, August 29, 1920 to March 26, 1982, was an African-American inventor and engineer. One, his inventions include improved electrical resistors used in computing, missile guidance, and pacemakers. Otis Boykin illustration of Boykin born August 29, 1920 Dallas, Texas died March 26, 1982, aged 61, Chicago, Illinois, engineering career.